I bet I can bang the dents from my armor while we're in town. These ruins are not empty. Your friends have come this way. I can smell them. Euraxia's soldiers are not my friends, Cat. I will not allow them to seize the weapon. So you say, but will you really oppose your sister? Half-sister. And I oppose anyone who adds to the woes of the Empire. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. Stay vigilant and look for a way inside. as Queen Euraxia predicted. Queen? I see my demented half-sister is still full of herself. My queen sends her love <laughs> and this poison gas. To me, before the gas takes you. Necromancer, deal with these scum. For High Isle! Keep them away from Thug! You rub the wrath stone here. Its magic will unlock the vault. I see a panel. Hold them off. We have an endless supply of undead, you fools. Oh, that takes care of the poison. Relish your victory while you can. We'll reach the weapon before you. Well done, Cat. I barely regret your presence now. We need to get that door open. Euraxia's soldiers were here long enough to turn some of the Hull's own defenses against us. We need to be on our guard, Walker.
One ancient ruin is much like another, and I have spent a lot of time exploring places such as this. To be honest, I took an educated guess. Luckily, Jode's lights shined upon us, and my guess proved true. Most assuredly. Unless the Euraxians blunder into them first. But I do not think we can count on that. They figured out how to turn the gas against us after all. First things first, however. We need to find a way to open that door. Many ancient Kajiti puzzles utilize reflected light. The mechanism to unlock the door appears to be tied to one such puzzle. If you can find a way to reflect the light to the door, I believe it will open. My half-sister has stooped to employing necromancers. How distasteful. No matter. We need to open this door and deal with Captain Calcevius and his soldiers. Interesting. What's with all the dragon imagery, I wonder? That rumble when we entered. Somehow the Wrathstone I carry triggered a mechanism of some sort. It started a process that will eventually open the vault and permit access to the weapon. That's my assumption, in any event. Look around. Some sort of dragon decorates nearly every surface. While ancient, the carvings were clearly added after the halls were first constructed. Well, that's a mystery for later. Right now, we need to beat Euraxia's soldiers to the weapon. It appears I've stumbled into another one of my half-sister's nefarious schemes. I need to be more careful about that. Still, I don't think Euraxia counted on Chimera's presence. That works to our advantage. Just don't tell the cat I said that. Stop the process. Why in Oblivion's name would we want to do that? No. We just need to reach the vault and retrieve the weapon before Euraxia's soldiers do. Now go and examine that puzzle. It appears much the same as the ones you dealt with earlier. Necromancers! Only your sister would ally with such abominations. Half-sister. And who's to say the necromancer isn't the captain's pet? Regardless, Euraxia apparently wants you dead. 
I have that effect on people, especially my relatives. to stand against us. What's now, mage? Isn't it obvious? Down. Down? It appears to be the only way. You could have waited for my portal. Never mind, let's move on. I cannot explain this, but that does not seem to stop me. You think the dragon tree is significant, wizard? Of course. Why else sculpt them on nearly every turn? Maybe who would live to see the light through this? We need to find the captain and end this. I'm well aware of the stakes, Cat. Try to run faster. Imperials! You think Joan and George shine only upon you? Another light puzzle? Well, go solve it. Time waits for no one, not even Abnathan.
did it! Now solve the other side. What now, Cat? Have you forgotten that we're in a hurry? These reliefs, they tell the story of Kunzari and the demons. Those aren't demons. They're dragons. Jude's light? The dragons are the weapon! Euraxia wants to release dragons! Damn it all! I have no use for dragons. Come on, let's put a stop to this. Damn stupid doors! Why won't you open? Stop! You will not release those beasts! Use the rat stone to restore the seal. I will never get tired of watching you fight like that. You must well hide. done. Seal! Damn you! Seal! I think. I think that did it. Oh, now what? I was trying to stop that from happening. The blame falls squarely on Captain Calcevius, I'm quite certain. He was working for your sister! Half-sister! But let's finish this back at my camp. Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. Everything Garishly sent me to prevent has occurred. I knew going to the halls of Colossus was a mistake. Now dragons are loose and elsewhere. At least we stopped Euraxia's soldier. I suppose that counts for something. <sighs> Other than set the dragons free? I have no idea. Luckily we stopped him from completing it. Whatever he hoped to accomplish. I wonder if Abnor knew about the dragons, if his plan all along was to release them into elsewhere. After he set the whole troublesome event in motion, if Abnor had never acquired the Wrathstone, if he had never figured out the location of the ruins, Jode's light, if he had never taken the damn tablet there, none of this would be happening. They would have... Ah! I should not push these angry thoughts in your direction. All I know 
is that a lot of dragons escaped from an ancient prison, and now they are loose and elsewhere. My people, they must be warned. That could have turned out better. At least we stopped my half-sister from seizing control of the imprisoned dragons. That's something, I suppose. Of course, this delays my plan to end the Three Banners' war, blast it all. I should say so. As destructive as the accursed war is, a rampaging horde of enraged dragons, well, it doesn't quite compare, does it? If we can contain the dragons in elsewhere, that would certainly be for the best. Right at this exact moment? No. No. But I will figure something out by the time I reach elsewhere and consult with Garish Ree. The Speaker of the Main needs to be informed, and I must have words with my despicable half-sister. About that. In hindsight, I suspect the tip I received about the Wrathstone came from Euraxia. She knew I wouldn't be able to resist such a lure. She played me. That doesn't occur often, and it has put me all out of sorts. I hate being tricked. For now, help the Khajiiti prepare for the dragon invasion, and take this as recompense for your service. In the meantime, I have plans to formulate and arrangements to make. When the moment to deal with the dragons comes, I will contact you. was him, I swear it! Sai Sahan, in the flesh. The last time anyone saw him was in the Imperial City. Let's say you really did see him, and you aren't just drunk off your arse. Why would he come all the way out here? I don't know, but it must be serious. He's a very serious looking person. The General doesn't see anyone without an appointment. It's a shame. 
Dragons ravage nearby villages and Senchal fears the approach of Dragonfire. Yet no one seems willing to fight back. Hmm... You seem like a warrior of worth. Perhaps you can aid me. A dragon nests on the nearby island. I believe it plans to attack Senchal. We need to slay the creature before it strikes. Unfortunately, there's not a ship in this city that will sail us to a dragon's lair. Believe me, I've asked. General Renmus, leader of Senchal's military forces, could commandeer a ship to sail us to the island. We need to arrange a meeting with the general and convince him to support us. What say you, warrior? Will you help me slay this dragon? Now, meeting with an Imperial General is faster said than done. The paperwork alone would take days to file, and the dragon we seek could attack the city at any moment. So, I found an alternative method. Your aid, and this handful of jewels. First, you must bribe Renmus' scribe Nadama to put us on the schedule. You'll find her in the tavern. Next, you need to speak to Darku in the city's outskirts, just south of here. He can forge our credentials. You also need to delay Arniel Bronk, who is scheduled to meet with the General today. Arniel's ship just docked in the harbor. If you steal his vessel's manifest, the Darkmaster should detain him. That will give us enough time to speak with the General. Lucky be willing, all will go well, and our meeting with General Renmus will commence without issue. Meet me at the palace when you're done. Meanwhile, I'll learn all I can about our upcoming dragon hunt. I was once captain of the Imperial Dragon Guard. I swore to serve Emperor Varen and protect his empire. But now, with Cyrodiil in disarray, I find myself forced to carve another path. And so I prepare to fight dragons. The Dragon Guard of old were both proud defenders of the Empire as well as dragon hunters. I may no longer serve Emperor Varen, but I wish to continue their traditions. I was even able to find one of their dragon horns, the Horn of Jadari. It's an ancient relic that forces the most powerful of dragons to come crashing to the ground. It gives us a tremendous advantage in battle. I've already used it to slay one dragon, and with your help, I hope to slay many more. The outlying towns have already been ravaged by dragons, and refugees have come pouring into Senchal as a result. They hope that stone walls will stop the dragon's wrath, but it's only a matter of time before the dragons attack Senchal. Why else would it roost so close to the city? I believe the dragon is evaluating Sanchal's defenses and preparing for the right moment to strike. We must slay it before it gets that chance. That is my hope. No matter the risk, our best option is to slay this dragon on its own island, away from the innocence of Sanchal. Let's hope the general agrees with that logic. You'd be surprised what people tell a respectable gentleman with a distinguished beard. Take Nadama, for example. I heard that she's been seeking a way to leave Senchal for weeks. A few gems would certainly help pay for her passage. It was easy enough to learn about that braggart. I overheard him in the tavern, claiming that he could forge any document in Senchal. For the right price, of course. Let's see if he has the skills to back up his boasts. All ships coming into Sanchal are subject to a cargo inspection, unless they present a sanctioned ship's manifest. If you're able to steal Arniel's manifest, he'll be held up in customs for hours. That will give us time to speak with the General. Yes, lucky willing. Had we the time, I would go through official channels. But with so much at stake, we can't afford the delay. We have no choice but to use these underhanded measures.
You look tasty, and it's time for my next snack. I kid, of course. It's not nice to hunt prey in this city. Are you planning to rob it? Oh, do say yes. I'm a little bored. I could bring you down before you took seven steps. Maybe eight. No, of course not. Sometimes I encourage them to sneak into the palace to steal General Remmers' gold, just to liven things up around here, you understand? Unless you have cargo for this one to inspect, be on your way. He has no time for I. for you now. Finally. I thought I'd never get off this dock. You said you had a ship manifest. May this one inspect it? Yes, if you must. It's right on this crate. All right, this shouldn't take long. Hmm. Is something the matter? Do you play games with this one? There is no manifest on this crate. What? No, that can't be right. I'm sure it was there. Need this one to remind you. All ships without a sanctioned manifest will be subject to... I know the law, but I'm telling you, the manifest was on this crate. Unless you can produce it, we'll have to inspect your cargo. But, but that could take hours. I have an appointment. Just wait until my guild hears about this brutish treatment. They won't let it stand, I can assure you of that. I'm right beside you. Let's get out there. Children, what of them? 
I do not know. We must know. There's no work in Senjal. How will we feed them? We can't go back home, dearest. There's nothing left. I know. I... I'm scared. I don't want the children to starve. Can't you see that I'm trying to drink away my sorrows? It's an extremely delicate process, you know. Doesn't require company. Today, <laughs> you are very, very funny. General Renmus' schedule is full today. If you want to see him, fill out your paperwork and submit it, just like everyone else. Hmm, I didn't know you were feeling so generous, Walker. I suppose your name can be added to the general schedule, but that is all, yes? You'll need to secure the proper documents and delay his previous appointment. Thanks for the generous donation. Let's just make sure this little exchange stays between us, yes? I'm going to finish my drink and then find the next ship off of this moon's forsaken city. If dragons weren't bad enough, all these refugees will eat Senshal out of house and home. I'm leaving before the riots start. speaks true. The dragons fought each other. Your eyes are what they used to be, Grandmother. This one knows what she saw. Our village wasn't attacked. It was just in their way. But why would they... Whether it or will or waver, Tarku is your savior. Tell this one, what need have you of the finest forger in all of Senshaw? Interesting. Most interesting. Diplomatic papers. Yes, that would get you in to see the shave skin general. Of course, skills such as Darku's require compensation worthy of his talent. Ah, yes. These beauties will do quite nicely. Here you are, then. Diplomatic papers, all up to date and ready to present. Just make sure you have an appointment, eh? Wouldn't want to walk in on the general unannounced. Were you able to secure a meeting with General Renmus? In 
so we must prepare for our first battle, my friend. A battle of wits. Remember, we must convince General Renmus to commandeer a ship for us. With it, we'll sail to the Dragon's Island and slay the beast. Not much. And what I do know, I'm not sure what it means. A ship sailed directly to the Dragon's Island recently. It displayed no banners, and no one in Senchal recognized it. It's possible we're not the only dragon hunters in Southern Elsewhere. I won't discount the possibility, but I also won't plan for it. For all we know, this ship was bound for another destination. Or, it has other business on that island. Though I'm at a loss as to what that might be. Let's head to our appointment. Halt! Official business only. We have an appointment with General Renmus. Here, our papers. These seem to be in order. All right, you can go in. It's not every day that Captain Sai Sahan graces my office. Greetings, General. I am here to request a ship to hunt down a nearby dragon. Slay a dragon. And this from a man who couldn't even protect our Emperor. Perhaps you should speak to my companion. They can share the details of our plan. So, you're a companion of the infamous Captain Sai Sahan. Though I suppose that title no longer means anything, given the current state of Cyrodiil. Well then, care to share how you plan to slay this dragon? An admirable venture, I'll admit, if not a foolhardy one. Unfortunately, I have neither the ship nor crew to lend you for such an expedition, the city is chaotic enough as it is, and I can't afford to spread my resources. Which is precisely why I can't agree to your request. If a dragon does attack Senshal, I'll need every soldier and ship under my command here to defend the city. I'm sorry. Your cause is commendable, but my mind is made up. Thank you for your time, General. Come, my friend. Let's speak outside. someone who can help you. Hello, I'm Aelia Renmus, General Renmus's daughter. I couldn't speak freely in front of my father, but I might know someone who can help you get to that island. But tell me, do you truly believe you can slay a dragon? Then I want to help. Or, well, send you to someone who can help you. You should speak to Zaji, Captain of the Perfect Pounce, he may be a smuggler, but he cares about Senshaw, and he's my friend. He can get you to that island. I know, I know. My father certainly wouldn't approve. 
Then again, he hasn't approved of most of my friends since we arrived in Central. Not that my father's disapproval has any bearing on this conversation. He loiters around the city's outskirts, along with his first mate, Casca. Just look for a doggy rat and a sench rat arguing with each other. You can't miss them. Oh, and tell them Alia sent you. I should head back to the palace. Good luck! Let's see if this Zaji fellow is as honorable as young Alia believes. Would you care to walk there together? There's much about Senshal I can tell you. Otherwise, we can meet in the city's outskirts. Very well. Follow me. This one lost friends in Haven, but you avenged them, I hear. Many Refugees from the friends. recent dragon attacks have flooded St. Charles. They have lost homes and livelihoods. Despite the city's best efforts, most go to sleep hungry each night. Many take advantage of these hopeless souls. Thieves and cutthroats steal any item of value they still carry. While these refugees languish, the city's underbelly thrives. While the dragons ravage this land, these people will suffer. That is why we must fight. Not for glory, not for fame, but for the innocents of elsewhere who cannot fight for themselves. Just buy another ship? Costco, you won't, Sachi. You truly do. Can't you see that Zaji is grieving? He has lost everything. His home, his heart, his one and only lady love. Oh, how can he go on? The perfect pounce! The finest vessel to sail the Topal Bay! Someone stole her as we slumbered. A heartless wretch! A thief without honor! A member of Zaji's very own crew, he is sure of it! Nartis Meris! Ugh. May he suffer a thousand salty cuts! No, but Nartis does. And Zaji knows we can find him in Southgard ruins. Pounce needs provisions before it sets sail, and that's where Nartis will get them. But why are you offering to help, Walker? Elias sent you. Then you must be walkers of honor. And this one must admit, slaying a dragon sounds quite heroic. Very well. It's a deal. If you help Zaji get his ship back, he will take you to this island. We must head to Southgard ruins and search for Nartis. It is a coastal town of sorts, just south of saint Charles. With some persuasion, that clawless dark elf should let slip the location of the perfect pounce. Then we steal her back. Casca? Why, she's the pounce's first mate, of course. Don't take her manner personally, Walker. She's a Khajiit of few words and little patience. And so this one would recommend you stay on her good side, yes? <laughs> she didn't earn the title Casca the Unconquered without biting off a few heads. Do not try your luck, Walker. Ah, and so we finally move on to one of Zaji's favorite topics of conversation. The Perfect Pounce is home to the sleekest profiteers this side of the Topal Bay. She is captained by a roguishly handsome Kaji who sought fortune from a young age. Indeed he is! 
There is no treasure too hidden, no adventure too perilous, no glory too great for Zaji and his loyal crew. Danger? <laughs> this one does not know the word. In such situations, Zaji tends to go with his well-toned gut. And his gut says this dragon will be a problem for Senchal eventually. He will help those brave enough to hunt the beast down. Right after we find the pouch, of course. He is the newest member of Zaji's crew, came aboard only a few weeks ago, and this morning, just as the perfect pounce is stolen away, he disappears. It is more than a coincidence, this one thinks. Zaji's blood may boil, but his mind remains as sharp as a blade. We came to Senchal for provisions. It is unlikely that Nartis would journey out to sea without stocking up first. That means dealing with the vagabonds in Southguard ruins. It used to be a fort, but as the name suggests, it's seen better days. Now, pirates and brigands call it home. They will not welcome outsiders. First, our ship is stolen. Then, before we even know where it is, Zaji agrees to sail a stranger to a dragon's island. I should have just rolled over and gone back to sleep this morning. Kaska, first mate of the Pounce, otherwise known as the one who keeps Zaji from getting us all killed. If it were up to me, Nartris would have never set foot on our deck. Unfortunately, our bleeding heart of a captain had other ideas. That dark elf didn't know a bowline from a clove hitch. It was obvious he'd never set sail in his life, yet he was excited to join our crew. Only a fool wouldn't have been suspicious. Naturally, Zaji never suspected a thing. If he's not, we'll find him eventually. If no one has mentioned it, Senshirats are excellent hunters, and I have his scent. This one is always open for business.
must sneak in, Casca. Sneak. You do remember how to do that, yes? I remember the last time you tried to sneak somewhere. Did you ever remove all those cactus spines from your arse? <gasps> those cactus spines never stung as much as your betrayal, Casca. Oh, yes, my third betrayal of the day, but who's counting? Our new companions certainly love to quarrel. Zaji wants to infiltrate the encampment and take Nartis by surprise. Casca, on the other hand, suggests we launch a frontal assault and deal with him directly. Very well. We'll start our search at the north entrance. I'll follow your lead. Meanwhile, Zaji and Casca can make their way to the other side of the encampment. I'll leave their strategy to them. Luckily, Zaji provided a map of the area. I've determined a few locations where I believe Nartis may be, given their relative isolation from the rest of the encampment. At the very least, this path should let us search most of the camp. Yeah! Enough! <laughs> Do you accept the plan? It is an excellent plan. We'll circle around to the back, yes? And knowing your mouth will alert every pirate in Southgard along the way. What? Zaji is the epitome of discretion! I'm going to take the lay of the land. I'll meet you at the entrance to the camp. Looking forward to seeing what you make with that. One more hour until my... None left to stand against us. I'm right here. Stay focused. Sign of the Dark Elf here. Let's head north.
Mm, good quality there. Stop right there. He locked the door. Stand back. Quickly now. After him. Well, that's one way to catch a thief. Walker, good to see you. Look who Zaji found. Why don't you say hello? Please, Zaji, don't let Casca rip out my throat. I'll stand guard while you interrogate Nartis. All right, all right, I admit it. I stole the perfect pounds and brought it here to Southguard. But I no longer have the ship, I don't. I sold the ship. To Admiral Irathi. But they haven't set sail yet. The ship will still berth on the south docks. Irathi hasn't even finished loading up the slaves. I. D did I say slaves? <laughs> Silly me! I meant cargo. They're loading cargo. I would never sell a Khajiiti ship to a slave trader. All right, yes, yes, Irathi is a slaver. But I swear, I didn't know that until after I sold her the ship. Please, you have to believe me, I'm innocent here. Zaji wants you to know there are no hard feelings. In our business, it's sink or swim, yes? <laughs> oh, that's right! You can't swim! <laughs> That went exactly as planned, which honestly may be a first for Zaji. Zaji is counting on it. There's no place for slavers in elsewhere. But there's plenty of room at the bottom of the sea. Perhaps Kenarthi will even take pity on Nartis and guide him to wherever it is that Dark Elves go. There's not a sailor in the Topol Bay who hasn't heard of Admiral Irathi and her practices. Many Khajiit have suffered because of her. But now we have a chance to repay this suffering, yes? Oh, you want a plan? Yeah. Uh, now, that plan would be... Ah! Zaji and the Bearded One will draw away the slavers. Meanwhile, Kaska will help you secure the perfect pounce. We'll reconvene when the coast is clear. Against my better judgment, I think we should follow Zaji's plan. Besides, it's best if you help secure the boat. We wouldn't want our new friends sailing off without us. Let's just say I'm not discounting the possibility. Aelia Renmus seems like a respectable woman, but she may not be the best judge of character. For now, let's hold up our end of the bargain. Another find for your pack.
good to finally meet you. Remove that wheel lock or we'll never sail out of here. Ah, oh, it is good to be home. We should sail for Senchao before reinforcements arrive. Excellent point. Hey, Walker, get us out of here. Captain would get the pounce back. I heard what happened from the crew. I'm glad you were there to help recover the pounce. I don't think Zaji would have handled the loss of his ship very well. Speaking of Zaji, did he agree to sail you to the island? I'm glad to hear it. I knew Zaji wouldn't let you down. I'm coming with you. If this dragon is going to attack Senshal, I want to help defeat it. Besides, I'm sure you could use an extra hand. I'm good with a bow. Look, I'm aware of the risks, believe me. But this city is my home. I can't just stay behind and hope you stop this threat. Not when I can help. I won't stand by while my father and friends are in danger. You're competent, I'll give you that. Enough to slay a dragon? We'll see. The odds don't look good. We don't know the island. We have no idea how strong the dragon is. We'll have to improvise, and that rarely goes well. And wait for this dragon to burn the city to the ground? No, it's better to die fighting than to perish hiding behind a wall. Besides, we're profiteers. We know a thing or two about risk. Someone on this ship has to be. If everyone plans for sunny weather, how will we survive a storm? Despite the odds, it's not hopeless, though. If we can fight, then there is always a chance we can win. Guess the captain got the pounce back. He always does. Not the first time he's lost it, you know. Practically everything. If it weren't for old Dirge, the whole ship would sink under the weight of the grime and barnacles. Not that any of these louts would notice. Enough jawing. I've got to see what condition the pounce has come back in. Now that we've secured a vessel, our next step is to infiltrate the Dragon's Lair. Zaji will stay on his ship in case we need to make a quick retreat. Casca, on the other hand, has asked to join our hunt. If she wishes to protect her home, she should have that chance. Once we reach the island, we'll search for the Dragon. Luckily, we have the Horn of Jadari to help us fight the beast. Before I made my way to elsewhere, I searched Dragon Guard sanctuaries for weapons and wisdom. There, I learned about the Horn of Jadari and how it was stolen by the Dragon Veloxen. I found Veloxen's lair, slew the beast, and took back the horn. A dragon horn of immense power. Its sound forces dragons to fall from the sky. It should give us a great advantage in battle. That said, we may also find more resistance than a dragon on the island. Another ship was seen heading toward the island. I'm not sure if its crew are friend or foe, but we must be prepared for the worst. We can set sail immediately, or perhaps you would like to take a moment to become familiar with the crew.
This one is cleaning. You may help clean, or you may stop bothering this one. Whatever needs doing. Cleaning, mopping, stabbing. Sometimes this one stabs and then cleans up afterward. Also, Chisbari is well known for her cheery disposition. Hooray! See? Chisbari is so cheery. Jal, you are the one who got us back the perfect pounds, yes? Thank you for that. She may not be much, but the pounds has been this one's home for a long time. Even before Zaji was her captain, in fact. Yes, back when the ship belonged to a rather nasty fellow by the name of Bazahar the Bull. A heartless taskmaster who didn't care a lick about his crew. The Pounce was a lot less colorful back then, in more ways than one. <sighs> What's not to like? He respects his crew, makes sure we're well cared for, and he's always excited for the next adventure. It's a bit contagious, actually. Still, I, I don't know if this ship could actually function without Casca. I won't deny Zaji is cunning than he wants to be, but it's Casca that keeps this ship afloat. She schedules repairs, oversees our provisions, uh, pays the crew. And she keeps us all safe, of course. I haven't seen her lose a fight yet. <laughs> <laughs> 